what's going on guys Javid United and today I'm back with another video but this video is quite special because as you may know I do have a pet corn snake a butter corn snake name is butter also known as a banana corn snake or stuff like that um, and I haven't done a review on it for a while now and you know what happens when I didn't do a review a review has to come because if I don't do a review um, It'll start getting forgot about and I want to show you the progress of it because it's really big now. Well, it's like, I would say almost fully grown, but it is fully grown. Don't really know. I would say it is fully grown. Leave some comments um, if you, like, if it's not or if it is. I don't know. I've, got, I've had it for about a year and a half now, nearly two years. Um, it's still in the same enclosure, enclosure uh, as the last video I did. Um, so I'll just flip the camera right now and I'll show you it. So there you go guys, that is the enclosure that it was in, in last episode. Um, I believe the last episode, I, I don't know what I did in it. I think I showed you the corn snake and I showed you what was different about the props and that. So yeah, in this episode I'm just gonna like tell you what you need to care for a corn snake. Basically a care video what you would need. Um, to care for a corn snake and first off we're going to start with water as you can see right there there's the water bowl it's very natural for my water i like to keep it very natural because i don't think it looks very good if it's just like your average water bowl that you use for your pet dog or something i like to go all out natural um natural nature naturey type thing uh, like see my hide there my sticks and my plants and everything I'm going to I'm going to try and get a hide for the colder um like cooler side of the tank. Um yeah, so as I said we're going to start off just ignore that that's to scrape the poop out. Uh, let's put this at the back here. There we go. Right. I'll set on this chair and I'll tell you. Right. So, this is the water I use and I I use different Right guys, before that interruption um my storage ran out on my phone. I'm sorry about that, by the way. And um, I was just if I don't know if when I don't know when I cut out, but I was just getting um, to my water I use for uh, the snake drinking. I always use bottled water for this because I just um, I think that's the best really. Um, this is the water I'm using at the minute. It's just spring water. I use different types of water. Depends on what water my dad gets. Like he just goes to the shop and buys water for him. Uh, depends what bottle he comes back with. I'll just fill this up every um, once or two days. Um, say like, I'll fill this up tomorrow because I just filled that up last night. So I'll fill that up tomorrow morning before I go to school. Uh, so yeah, this is the water I'll be using. Uh, yeah, so you don't, right, that's the water I would use. I would recommend tap water. I mean, not tap water. No, that's bad. Well, it isn't, but... Um, I would recommend bottled water. That's the best in my opinion. Yeah, uh, so I'll pre I'll prefer to use a natural, more like naturey type water bowl, what a dish, whatever you want to call it, because it just looks better. You need to change that every day or two, so this so like it doesn't get all, uh, what you call it? What's it called when the water gets like stale? Yeah, stale. That's what it's called. And uh, like. Make a snake poorly sometimes, maybe, I don't really, uh, I don't really know, but I'm just going to put this water back. Right, so, next up we are going to get onto the heat pad. Right guys, we're back, and as I said, we are going to get onto the heat pad, which is connected under there. I will need to actually adjust that, because it's like... I need to put it under the, under the high because it's not getting very hot. I will do that soon. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah, we're going to get under the heat mat. I'll see what temperature the thermometer is at, actually. I don't even know. Um, I don't even know. I'll have a look after. Doesn't matter. Um, yes, yeah, so the heat mat just has to be under the warm side, obviously, because that's going to be the warm side. Uh, it has to be under the high, so the snake doesn't get too cold, because it may die or something. I don't really know. Um, yeah, it has to be under the high. 
obviously on the, on the warmer side, which the heat mat is going to um, defer because the heat mat gets warm and yeah, whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, the heat mat is going to be under here. Um, this is the way for my heat mat right here, if you can see. See it. Um, so yeah, off the heat mat onto the uh, bedding. I've opened the tank for this one. Um, yeah, the bedding I use is aspen bedding. It's just like little wood shavings. Like it does the job for me. It's like very common snake uh, bedding to use all around the world or oh, snake owners. Um, it's very commonly used, as I just said. Um, yeah, it does the job. It's very cheap for what the fine product is. Uh, I would very much recommend it. Um, so yeah, we will get on to the decorations. I've had some issues with the storage, so this is about five hours later before I've done that video. Sorry if it's a bit dark. Actually, I'm going to turn light on. Uh, yes, we're getting into the tips, weren't we? Um, yes, first tip is to always pay attention to your corn snake because if you, say, if you forget a week of feeding, Make sure you feed it as soon as possible because if you don't, it might go off feeding, and that is that could in that could um like result in it dying or I don't really know. But let's go uh, tip two, guys. Oh so yeah, guys. Tip two is about water. Always change your water once or twice a every like say once every day or once every two days. Uh, it's better to clean it every once a day, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the reason why is because the water might go stale and the snake might get pooly or something. Um, yeah. S um, tip three. I think I've been saying step. Uh, it's tip. Tip three is that you, if you don't want your tank to stink, you have to clean your poo out. Because if you don't, your tank will stink and it may cause some um, parasites in your tank. I don't even know, but I'm just dishing out weird tips. So, yeah, that's all for today, and I'll see you later.